Good morning, everybody. It's my 29 subscribers. Anybody else watches this video? Okay. We're going to do a random book drawing. Audition. That is a random book that I bought from Plato's Closet. I forgot to find it. It's a book I think about ballet. It has a ballet dancer on the back. So I was like, oh, I love ballet. <laughs> so I used to do ballet whenever I was a little kid. I love ballet. I love doing it. I love watching it. Okay. Let's see. The back says, what would you give up for your dream? Dare I tell them that since I came here to dance, I have been giving pieces of my body away to ridiculous diets, to repeated injuries, to Remington. And that maybe, I think, with each bit of my body, I lose a little piece of my soul. The cover says, it all started with the audition. When Sarah is offered a scholarship with the prestigious Jersey Ballet, there's no way she can turn down the opportunity of a lifetime. But to take it, she must leave her family and friends for a strange city. Suddenly, she thrusts into a life of endless ballet class and rehearsal, of juggling schoolwork with hours in the studio and constantly being critiqued, corrected, and judged. Overwhelmed and lonely, Sarah connects with Remington, a brilliant up-and-coming choreographer. Though he's too old for her, sparking scandal at the studio, Sarah is thrilled to become Rem's muse. But as the secrets pile up and Rem's innovative dances start to attract wider attention, Sarah wonders whose dream she's making come true. Debut author Stasia Ward Kaho spins spins an intense and romantic page turner about the deeply flawed yet irresistible world of ballet. Stasia Ward Kaho, I have no idea how you see her last name. K E H O E grew up dancing and acting on New England stages. She then moved to Washington, D.C. and later to New York, choreographing everything from theatrical productions to magic acts. She now lives with her husband and four sons in the Pacific Northwest. Audition is her first novel. Visit her online at www.stageawardkeo.com. Okay. 
In loving memory of Kevin James Cahill Sr. and Charlotte Elizabeth Eck. Acknowledgements. The dance, drama, and school teachers who opened my mind to the stories I could tell on stage and on paper. SCBWI Western Washington, a generous, hardworking group of writers through which I connected with awesome beta readers, Molly and Dawn. My agent, Catherine Drayton, who found me the perfect editor. Kendra Levin, whose insight into the lives of young artists brought such steps to the editorial process and with whom it is an absolute pleasure to work. All the wonderful folks at Viking Penguin whose talents and energy turned my manuscript into this beautiful book, especially Regina Hayes, Susan Castle, Janet Pascal, and Kate Renner. My parents, Mike and Janet Ward, who were uncomplaining chauffeurs through years of dance classes, play practices and performances, and are now a fantastic cheering squad. Thomas, Mac, Sam, and Jack, who told everyone that their mom was a writer long before I dared speak those words aloud myself. My husband, Kevin, who makes me smile every day, and it's eternally on my team. And my sister, Kristen, whose compassion, creativity, and courage are a constant inspiration. Thank you. When you are a dancer, you learn the beginning is first position, heels together, feet pointed as far to the sides as your rotating hips will allow, and when you are small, and at the beginning, your body is as flexible as your mind. There you stand, pot-bellied, eager. They do not say to you then that when you are 16, doubt may cramp your muscled calves, arch your arrow back, leap into your mind. They do not say to you when you start in first position, that you may never be thin enough, strong enough, flexible enough. That you may never be enough. Sarah number 78. On the 3rd of July, I stand with a hundred other girls from stick thin to gently rounded. From tiny, taut packages of muscle to gawky, long-limbed lifts, all wearing pink tights and black leotards. Hair sprayed slick against our scalps, up and away, not a single stray strand to distract from the tilt of our heads or the length of our necks. I noticed a few girls dared garnish their ch chignons with beads of flowers. When it helped them grab the attention of Dame Veronique de la Chance of choreographer Yevgeny Yelnikov. One of the other important teachers who have become to who have come to scout talent here in Boston today, or even catch the speckled eye of the secretary in heavy blue skirt thick shoes taking notes on a battered clipboard where our names are connected to the numbers we wear pinned onto front and back. I was given number 78. Should I have worn flowers in my hair? Okay. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.